Hey everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a card for you guys using um, the Parisian um, bundle, but I'm actually, I don't have any stamping on this card, uh, at least on the front. I probably will choose a sentiment out of the stamp set to put on the inside, um, but I just love the elegance of this set. Um, and I love that we have a couple words in here um, to die cut. So I wanted to show you how I created this card. It's very quick and easy. Um, the dies are, these are called the Parisian dies. They coordinate with the Parisian Beauty um, stamp set. And I'm also using the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder. So hopefully you can see um, it's got some great dimension and kind of scrolls uh, to it. So it's a lovely lovely embossing folder. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about um, our product. We are using a piece of Pool Party. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White that is cut four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Smoky Slate that is three and three quarters by five. I have another scrap of Pool Party for um, our word here. And then I also have a piece of vellum that we're going to use um, to put behind. Um, so let's go ahead, why don't we do our die cutting first. So I'm going to grab this beautiful Eiffel Tower as well as a more. And we are going to take our Whisper White and our scrap piece to do the die cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this is the Whisper White layer that we're using on the front of the card. So I'm going to die cut um, the Eiffel Tower out of the center because it's going to be covered. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm going to roll this through a couple times just because we have um, all that little detail to it. I had no problem with it coming out on the first one, so I don't anticipate that being an issue. See how easy it just pops right out. Let me, okay. Let's take that pool party, and we are going to die cut. That. I'll do that one more time. Okay. That too will come right out. All right, let's switch platforms so we can do our embossing. So let me grab our Smoky Slate and our Parisian Flourish. We're gonna we have the right side, yes. Let me just make sure I'm kind of straight in there. Okay, this is the 3D, so I'm gonna use our embossing plate here. look at that. I just love it. And I actually love the back side too. I, I considered using the, uh, the de-emboss side on this project. Okay. Let's put that aside here for ourselves. All right. I'm just going to take my little piercing. Most of these just popped right out. All right, let me get all of these out of our way. Oh, I just spilled those. That's okay. That's what vacuums are for, right? Okay, let's take our little word out. Usually when I just pop that edge, it'll, whoa, come out beautifully. There you go. All right, let's give our base a nice burnish here. All right, we are going to add our Whisper White layer. Front of our card, and I'm okay. 
Now we can come back with our embossed smoky slate piece. We're going to put a little bit of glue all over that. And we're going to hide that piece that we that we cut. Looks good. All right, and then I just need to cut, oh, I should have done that first. Um, let me grab my trimmer. We're going to cut a piece of vellum that is one and a quarter um, by three and three quarters. And we're gonna put that behind our word here. Okay, so with our Eiffel Tower, whoa. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and a few spots. There's a few larger, you know, areas where you can kind of sneak in a couple beads of glue. That's probably good. All right, and I'm going to put the edge of this right with the edge of our smoky slate base. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a little, little press and hold just for a moment. Okay, and then what I did is I actually put my glue dots on the back of my word um, to try to disguise them from showing in the vellum. And so I found that, I think I did the O, um, I'm pretty sure I did the R over here. And I even like stretched out a piece of glue dot for the A, okay. And I think I'm going to put a couple more here on the back. We're going to try to disguise them the same way that we did on the front. So hopefully you won't see them. And the glue dots can stretch, so you can really, if you want to take some more time to kind of play with them, they will um, hide perfectly behind stuff. So there we go. Let's take some of our um, metallic pearls here. And I'm going to put a couple on here. Whoops, almost lost that one. Love it. All right, so there you go. There is our beautiful card for today. What a lovely set. Um, so as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to being back with you real soon. Um, you can find a full supply list in the description of this video if you'd like to pick up any of the products shown um, in today's tutorial. And don't forget, it is celebration. So with every $50 order in my online store, you can choose a free product out of the celebration catalog. If you are not a customer of mine and would like a new mini catalog and celebration catalog, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to mail you one. And I look forward to being back with you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.